Hi, and welcome to a new Fusion 360 Electronics update. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family here to tell you all about the new features our team of developers have implemented. Just in case you're not aware, well, Fusion 360 does include all the necessary details to make your next smart product. No need to have a mechanical tool and a separate electronic tool with the hopes to find common ground between them. With Fusion 360, you get all of your design needs in a single platform. That is true unification. To learn more about the Fusion 360 electronic capabilities, make sure to browse the playlist for Fusion 360 electronics on our YouTube channel. Let's now review the latest updates our team have innovated to optimize your design time. After placing all the components on the PCB, it is common to begin routing all of your connections. Fusion 360 does provide a host of manual routing tools, including loop routing. Wouldn't it be ideal to have some of these routing capabilities on the schematic? You know, when replacing a part or moving a part in the schematic, it's possible that your defined net loses its original path. With this new feature, you can easily define a new path and have the option of the original automatically be deleted. No need to manually delete the connections to define a new connection of your net. This should exponentially optimize your design time. For now, let's stay on the schematic, but this time I'm gonna be using the command to add some new parts to the design. Our team of librarians have been listening to your request and have added the popular AT Tiny and At Mega microcontroller series to the IC embedded library. If your design was to require an electrical signal with a constant frequency, make sure to check out the update done to the frequency source library. It is possible that you're going to find the crystal oscillator that you need for your design. Since we're already on the topic of component, let's move over to the Fusion 360 library editor. As you know, the building blocks of all electronic designs is a component available in the libraries. Being able to create the part at a fast pace may impact how soon your project will be finished. Well, the Fusion 360 library editor provides you all of the tools needed to easily build components required for your design. With the package generator, you can build the footprint with the 3D model in a matter of moments. In this update, the SMD header receptacle has been added, a very useful part that could be used for any ribbon connections. By having it surface mount version, it will only impact one layer of your board, giving you much needed PCB space on your other layer. Another update I would like to mention here is that if you need to tweak any of the values that were used to create the package, you are now able to easily access the template from the component timeline and make the changes that you require for the component. The next time you're working on your board and you use the display command, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by its updated interface, new material and color options. The new user interface now includes more functionality and versatility to speed up your design time. With the active layer indicator, you can be assured which layer is currently being worked on while making changes. The layer assigned color is now explicitly set to the layer and not to the palette. This will avoid those situations when changing the layer color, it will change multiple layers at the same time. The material option works the same way it did in the CAM preview dialog. Here, you can set the color of the material that will be reflected in the 3D PCB and in the CAM preview dialog box. I have more good news regarding the display command. I'm sure while you're working on the PCB, you are constantly enabling and disabling layers for a better view of the workspace. Notice that at the top of the dialog box, you have some predefined layer settings, making it really simple to switch views. From the settings, you can manage and add more layer presets. In our example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a preset to quickly take a look at our solder stop layer. Yep, it's that easy. You can now keep the display dialog box open while working on the design. Since it nearly behaves like a panel, if you're working with multiple monitors, you can keep it available on one of them. That way you could switch views much faster. With this new layer setup, you're gonna be able to swiftly define and use layer combination presets 
easily. While working on the PCB, you will often hear about the solder stop mass. The solder stop mass is part of the final process when making the circuit board. It's a thin lacquer-like layer that is a polymer that is applied to the PCB to protect it. The solder mass will have openings to allow the components to be soldered to the PCB. With this update, you now have the option to push your PCB to 3D PCB to include the solder layer geometry. This was going to provide you a realistic look of your PCB, which can help you notice unwanted bridges or exposed text. Well, thank you for joining me today. All this and more with Fusion 360.